students of Reddit. What's your well that happened moment in the classroom? At my school we sometimes have drug dogs come and check the lockers. They always announce it like teachers. Please do not let students leave the classroom for the next bit of time everyone knows what it means and one kid in my class grabbed his bag and jumped over three desks and ran out the classroom. Turns out he was an entrepreneur of sorts. He was merely holding inventory for his small business. A physics class in community college. Professor was explaining conservation of angular momentum and had a kid sit on a tall chair that spins. He then had the kid hold two books out with extended arms and then spin as fast as he can before telling the kid to pull the books in close to his chest. Think of a figure skater and how they spin really fast. The kid immediately turns into a blur and the stool chair starts to tip slightly until it rockets from under him like it was shot from a slingshot. The kid slams into the floor as if he got choke slammed and his head hit the floor in a way that sounded like someone dropped an overly ripe melon. The look on the professor's face said, well that was a good run. I guess I have to find a new career now. Kid turned out okay and everyone got a laugh but it genuinely looked like I had just witnessed a death. The teacher probably thought I'm so getting sued. This wasn't my class but was the talk of the school for a while. A well liked teacher gave her class a free work day and offered to play some music. Upon opening her iTunes, she found a file named Transformers MP4. Curious. She opened it. It turned out to be hardcore P that blasted through the entire class at full volume. Panicking. She couldn't figure out how to shut it off so she ran the laptop. Open and still blasting at full volume down the hallway to the office to reduce exposure to students. It turns out, the superintendent's son used one of the shared servers to browse and download the video so it was accessible by every computer connected to the school network. The superintendent resigned a couple years later. At least it wasn't a Michael Bay movie. There was a guy who sat in the front row of one of my classes when I was in community college. He would just bring in fresh vegetable and just eat like squash and cauliflower raw during class. Not in classroom but kid fell out of the restroom ceiling and broke the whole ceiling. And in a classroom someone got thrown across the room into a wall. Hey Ron. Guy with anger issues started yelling at the teacher and then slapped her across the face. Keep in mind this fat kid was huge and the teacher was this old tiny Asian woman. The nicest guy in the class smokes the guy with a sucker right hand and just puts the guy out cold. I would pay to see that. When my teacher brought his samurai sword and started yelling random samurai cries whilst trying to teach us about ancient Japan. Quite the period we had that day. All I'm hearing in my head right now is Genji's ult. Had a teacher have a little bit of a mental meltdown in class when she realized that no one really cared about doing the homework and such. She was really sad, and I wish I was a better student for her, and I hope her life is going better nowadays. Two things you need to know. First, there was this guy at my school whom I've now known for 25 years. His thing is to scream frick yeah at everything. He's done it since I've known him. Anytime someone mentions Matt someone always adds a frick yeah he is huge and very loud. When he comes in the bar he announces his presence with an exuberant frick yeah if he calls you. You say hello and he yells frick yeah. You get the picture. Second, my senior year it was a thing to sneak vodka into school and Cinnabon mugs. For some inexplicable reason plastic Cinnabon mugs were like a huge thing. Sashaying around flaunting your Cinnabon mug. Rolls eyes. Anyway I'm in a post lunch class one day and one of the Cinnabon vodka girls up and starts puking bright, hot pink, fruity vomit out the window behind her. Then she stood up and screamed whoo frick yeah at the top of her lungs with her face covered in puke. Frick yeah dude is also in this class so he immediately screams frick yeah back. Then she yells frick yeah again and they go back and forth yelling frick yeah getting progressively louder with each one until the teacher gets to her and ushers her out of the room. The rest of us just sat there like WTF was that all about? Then she yells frick yeah again and they go back and forth yelling frick yeah getting progressively louder with each one until the teacher gets to her and ushers her out of the room. Rookie mistake. You accidentally created a positive feedback loop. Not a student anymore. But we had a supply English teacher that had the good old habit of liking a little drink in the classroom. 
He used to pull a small bottle of vodka out of the drawer and take a small sip every few minutes while trying to be sly about it. Well after a while one of the students told a teacher about it and then the supply teacher was found on his lunch break watching Netflix and drinking a glass of wine in the classroom. Funny thing is he stayed on as a teacher for another 3 months before being totally kicked out for a similar thing. Back in 8th grade middle school we had this really cool and chill US history teacher. He never raised his voice and he was pretty laid back about class and work. He taught in a storytelling kind of manner, and I don't ever remembering annotating any document in his class. Well, we had that one kid, in this story I'm gonna call him Jim. Jim was always late to class, and never turned stuff in. He was that one really cringy kid that everyone either hated or pitied. My teacher never got really fed up with him but would always show his distaste for him in his facial expressions. My teacher normally would pull him aside to talk to him about his tardiness or missing assignments. Jim would say he would be earlier do the assignments, but he of course never did. One day, Jim walks in late again. My teacher is about to start teaching, and when he turns and sees Jim walking in, well, this time, my teacher wasn't so happy about it. It was the middle of the school year towards the end, and my teacher must have gotten so fed up with Jim at that point. My teacher yells Jim's name at the top of his lungs. He normally had a boomy voice, but when he yelled it amplified a hundred times over. The ground literally shook when he yelled, and I'm sure they could hear him from downstairs at the other end of the school. Our school wasn't that small either. For the rest of the class period, about 30 minutes. Literally it was dead silent. Everyone was still kind of shocked from it. Go into the bathroom and open the door. The professor is there crapping. We make eye contact and I freeze. He slowly reaches for handle to close the door. So naturally I shake his hand because I'm retarded. Perfect recovery. When I fell asleep in the first row. And the professor and the other students started clapping to wake me up and when. I woke up I also started clapping like a moron. I took business English my senior year of high school. We had to do a presentation on a made up business. Two kids did a presentation on a frozen yogurt place that was like a make your own yogurt thing. You would squeeze the flavors and stuff out of fake cow udders. Straight from the teat was the name of their business. It was a long day. I'm interested in franchising. Someone asked him. Can we cook it in chemistry? Another person asked our math teacher who was going home to Canada over break if she could go threaten to kill his friend who lives there. Same person told the same teacher that he couldn't do the work because he has 100 extra chromosomes. He doesn't. She responded by saying that explains why you look like that. In a graduate level optics course, final exam. Professor leaves the room for a minute. Instantly the majority of Chinese students start conferring frantically in Chinese. Everyone's like, WTF. The Chinese kids at my university are renowned for cheating. Ninth grade for reference everyone was being super loud so we were pretty much unable to discern anything short of our own table. Just as the teacher is coming in and everyone is quieting down. This one kid is just loudly talking and telling this one girl who looks really freaking uncomfortable it's 4 inches with the most proud voice ever. Not in the classroom but it's still something that happened at school. At the last day of school, the entire high school goes into the theater for assembly. Then the entire grade presents the students that are leaving. And for every person that is leaving, a friend of theirs will walk up with a microphone and state why they will miss them, their achievements, etc. In our school year, this kid, let's call him John, was a complete butthole. He treated everyone badly and smoked in school, etc. Rumors have it that he was asked to leave at the end of the year and that he was pretty much expelled. But he was still presented by his friend in front of the whole high school. When his friend finished talking, he grabbed the microphone, pointed to our principal, and shouted in at him glad that I am leaving this school, as I'll never ever have to see your freaking face again then he gave the mic to his friend and left via backstage. Everyone was at this assembly, from grade 9 to grade 12. Every teacher, counselor, even the principal and the director of the school was there. There was a huge gasp and everyone was completely silent for the next 30 seconds. Then the next people which are leaving walked up to the stage. So, yeah, that happened. 
I went to a small college and our classroom sizes were very small. 15-25 people. So we got to know everyone pretty well. There was this one guy who came in so stoned that he fell off his chair. Thankfully the prof was relatively chill so she let him go home. Not my story but my friend told me how on the first day of class, during introductions and icebreakers this girl got up and ran toward the door. She didn't make it and threw up all over the place, looked around her and completely horrified left the class. She came back for her stuff later. Also, another time, my professor knew I was turning 21 the night before and when I came in the next morning, completely hungover and dead. He and the whole class applauded me. It was nice. I have the same reaction to icebreakers. Tell us one fun fact about yourself. Blue. 11th grade AP bio class. One of my classmates was locally renowned for his nonsense. One day he decided he was gonna leave and so he walked to the back of the classroom and hopped out the first story window and left. In the middle of class. Same guy. Same class brought his banjo in one day and had a banjo jam session before class started. We had one sub who was very popular because he could freaking rip on a harmonica. He always had one handy. I would love to see a harp off between him and John Popper. In the largest lecture hall on campus, there's a large reproduction of George Washington crossing the Delaware hanging above a door. One afternoon during my class in said room, some guy dressed entirely in red, white, and blue with an eagle mask walked in, saluted the painting and exited. Two girls in a fight. One of them German suplexed the other into a table. I know that sounds like wrestling but my teacher in 8th grade had an old wooden table next to her desk to hold extra books and stuff. Girls fought over a dude I think and after the slapping and hair pulling it happened. Was in a math class where a random student fell into the classroom and simply yelled you pushed me too hard shithead he got up and left as if nothing happened. The class laughed their asses off, including my math teacher. It's something I only see in cartoons. I remember being maybe in second grade and this one kid in our class kept yelling crap through the window at some 10th 11th grader that was outside. Our window was easy to climb in and out of as it wasn't placed at a higher level from the ground. The dude that was standing outside got annoyed with him, I guess, and just jumped on the window stool, which was pretty wide, and said something along the lines of you kid should not be saying things like this. I am older and won't do anything but someone in this life will at some point if you keep this behavior. Then went back to his friends or whatever like nothing out of the ordinary happened. Our whole class of second graders were shocked. I know it would have been more interesting if I remembered the details but it happened a long time ago. I thought you were about to tell me your 11 grader beat up a 2 CD grader. I was standing outside the classroom before class. Tim was a popular pothead who played a guitar. Gary was an upperclassman who'd been in some troubles before. Tim had hurt himself somehow and so he was on crutches. We're standing there. Gary comes walking by with a group of dudes and just yanks one of the crutches away from Tim. Oh, thanks, Tim says. Gary and the dudes walk off and the bell rang so I walked in and Tim hobbled on one crutch. The teacher saw. But I guess she thought Gary was supposed to take the crutch for some reason. Class was ending and Tim complained because he couldn't get to his next class unless he got his crutch back. The teacher apologized for her misunderstanding the situation and phoned the vice principal so that he could try to locate Gary in this crutch. This was not a hard job for the vice principal because Gary had gotten in trouble with him earlier in the day. So he'd stolen the crutch from Tim and promptly burst into the vice principal's office and threatened him with it. Story from the dude standing outside the office was that Gary was swinging crutch around. He knocked over a trash can and was pounding on the desk with the crutch. The vice principal stood across the desk from him with his arms in the air. He kept saying, think about what you're doing Gary, you don't want to be doing this now. I guess that by the time the teacher called, Gary had been de-escalated and disarmed and it was all over, except for figuring out where the crutch had come from. It would have been great if she could have warned him ahead of time. Fat kid comes into science class in the morning not looking too good. Substitute teacher doesn't care even when we tell her that he is literally going blue. Eventually he throws up on the floor and the teacher goes to him to help. He covers his mouth with his coat so he doesn't throw up on her. He throws up and his vomit goes down his jacket sleeve and gets dumped on her shoes. Substitute teacher walks out of schools with a trail of vomit footprints and says nothing. 
Freshman year of college, I had one professor who would randomly call on students in class, and if they didn't answer correctly, he would proceed to give them a roast in front of the whole class for their lack of knowledge on the subject material. I was in the class with a few of my good friends, as it was a prerequisite that we all needed to have. Even though we got our fair share of roasting from him as well, we all thought it was funny, and knew it was his way of making sure the students are engaged in the lecture. About halfway through the semester, he called on one person, and after she incorrectly answered, he started to casually roast a student. At this point, another girl raised her hand to get the prof's attention. After he called on her, she proceeded to vocally berate him about how he was treating us all like children, as well as call him every vulgar word she could think of. At this point, he's shouting back at her too, complete with all the same vulgarities that she used on him, and me and my friends are just sitting in the back, laughing under our breath while simultaneously being completely dumbfounded that this kind of stuff actually happens in college. Finally, he yells at her to leave lecture, she obliges, and as soon as she is out of the room, he proceeds to roast her even more to the class. It was so odd to see something like this, especially since I had just come from high school a few months before. Man, college is wild. I was sitting in my physics class, trying to stay awake because that class is one of the first classes of the day and I didn't get much sleep the night before. I sit at a table in the back of the class by myself. The table to my left has two of my friends and one other student sitting at it. I forget exactly what was being taught that day but I remember my friends suddenly saying things like oh my god, are you alright and maybe you should go to the nurse. I looked over to see my friends grabbing tissues and giving them to the other student whose nose was bleeding, which wouldn't be such a problem if there wasn't so much blood pouring out from this guy's nose. It was concerning to say the least. Our teacher told him to go and see the nurse. He nodded, stood up, and then he lied out of the room. It was probably the weirdest thing I have seen in a while. When I was a sophomore in HS, there was this one day in my French class where we were going over the homework from the day before. The homework that comes from the book is divided into different sections by letter. So section A, section B and so forth. At one point going over the assignment, no one was paying any attention to the teacher and we were just talking to the people around us. She wanted someone to read their answers from the next section and no one was listening to her. She was getting frustrated at this point. So she raised her voice and said I want the D. There was two seconds of silence followed by everyone busting out laughing. One of those moments that I'll never forget. I walked into school after being gone for a day and I saw the front desk broken perfectly in two. Apparently the biggest kid in my grade, a kid named Fisher, had sat on the desk and broken it. Classic Fisher. Had a professor get served divorce papers in the middle of a lecture. Luckily there was only 20 of us in the classroom and not hundreds in a lecture hall. Freshman year I made the horrible mistake of taking Psych 101 at 8am. So of course hungover made it to class, sat down, opened my notebook and promptly fell asleep. Woke to the professor asking me a question. I answered it accurately. I had taken a similar class in high school. He glared at me and moved on. Then I looked down at my notebook to find page after page of little notes and cartoons from the whole class. Mostly themes on you snore loudly and you look like an idiot with your mouth hanging open. The shame was strong with me that day. I once decided to take a history class at 7am one semester, never made that mistake again. To make it worse, our professor had a monotone speaking voice. Probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life right here. It was 7th grade English class and my crush and the first girl I ever made out with was in the class. I don't remember if we kissed before or after this happened, maybe after, anyway. I let one rip, silent but deadly literally by definition. It smelled so bad that the kids around me started freaking out and obviously my whole body is turning red. It caused such a distraction in the class from people laughing that the teacher made me go in the hall while the stench dissipated. After 5 minutes I was allowed back in and had to perform the walk of shame past my crush back to my desk that was drowning in February's. Ex student here. This was long ago. We sent whispers around the classroom to all drop our books on the ground. Pretending it was by accident, when the clock on the wall hit an exact time. When it happened our teacher was in the middle of writing on the chalkboard and she turned around, shocked, 
to find us all picking up our books. She cried after that, and we all started to feel really bad. Learned later she had just had a miscarriage. Sorry teach, we didn't know, and we all liked you. In first grade, this kid climbed on top of a bookshelf and screamed the Superman Thema song, before declaring he was Superman. The then proceeds to jump off the bookshelf and collides with another kid. We were all doing some like test thing then a student got up ripped it up screamed frick this then threw a chair at a teacher, proceeded to them say the teacher bullied her for the whole year. Not really a classroom but one day after pay me and my friends were changing out into our regular clothes when suddenly we hear a commotion in the restroom. Our section of lockers had an almost direct view into the restroom so we make our way over there to see two of the six sinks and they were ripped out of the walls by this one football player. This happened in a February and for the longest time until I graduated, I was a junior at the time, the sinks were still ripped out of the wall. One of the janitors must have gotten lazy because the next time we went into the locker room the sink was haphazardly put back into the wall only to be ripped out again. The guy who did this has major issues as another friend said he played gore videos on a classroom projector everyone has a school issued laptop. And I saw him chase the freshman around the team locker room like a spider monkey. Naked. I don't blame the janitorial I had the entire student body treating everything like shot and was responsible for repair and cleaning I wouldn't try. If you want to trash the nice things you deserve to get only trash to use. I wasn't involved, but a couple of weeks ago the frickin head boy of my secondary school legitimately swallowed a key. Apparently, he had placed it in his mouth to prove something and it had slipped down his throat. He had to go down to the medical room to get laxatives and get gloves so he could fish the key out of his poop. By the time he got it clean, the bloody thing had rusted black from stomach acid. I have another one which is quite infamous in my school. So we have this substitute teacher names Mr. Mandine, who can lose his temper quite easily. Usually, he's okay, but it seems this time he had zoned out. So two years ago, our school started practicing lockdown procedures after a teacher was stabbed to death in the same county. The unlikely situation of an actual lockdown occurred one day during tutor time when a couple of guys walked into the school carrying knives. During these lockdown procedures, the door is locked and the lights are turned off, and we are meant to stay as quiet as possible. In the tutor group 9b6, Mr. Mandine had replaced the usual teacher who was absent. Becoming sick of one of the students constant chatter, he actually sent the guide to stand outside the room. Now, bear in mind that in this building, which got demolished the next year as we all moved to a new building, that room was inside one of the maths blocks, which only contained two rooms each and was situated directly next to the main path through the school. The guy was fine and the intruders were cleared off the site, and now we all have a good laugh about it. When I was in college, I was sitting in a geology lecture center when someone dressed in a banana costume crashes in, does a lap around the room, then gets chased out of the room by a guy in a gorilla suit who came in after him. I think there is videos of this online. One of my classmates was bunking class and for some reason decided to call someone who was in class at the time. We're not allowed to use phones in class. Our professor then snatches the phone and begins talking over it, only to find out who's on the other end. Needless to say, the kid who bunked class was made to come back and attend class. After a few minutes of arguing with a teacher over homework that wasn't done, things settled down and everyone went back to their spot until the student proceeds to throw his math book at one of the windows where a whole chunk of glass just fell out. It didn't shatter or anything. No one was expecting it and it made the loudest of noises. Day before the exam at the review session of a class with two sections, both present, the instructors got into an argument over the tested topics. They disagreed academically about whether something was X or Y, and guess freaking what, it was on the exam. I was in 5th grade and we had a lockdown because of a suspicious person on campus. Since we were 5th graders, everyone freaked out and basically dove under the desks. Except for 3 kids who were just in the middle of the classroom, on beanbags, being loud as crap and playing 007. At least they might get their names put on a plaque. This was in my anthropology class my freshman year about 7 years ago. We had just watched a video about the schooling system in Japan. In some of the clips, 
the school children had name tags on their shirts. After the video ended, the professor asked if there were any questions. This guy who sat next to me, who, by the way, was always late and usually smelled strongly of weed, raised his hand and asked, so, like, do the little Japanese kids have to wear name tags because you can't tell them apart? As it turns out, the professor's wife is Japanese, and his children half Japanese. No longer a student but when I was a freshman in high school there was this guy I knew since middle school who would always get into trouble. Well one day he told our math teacher that he needed to go to the restroom. Already familiar with his behavior and using the restroom excuse to ditch class she refused to let him go. He insisted that he had to go but she refused yet again. Minutes passed and told the teacher that if she didn't let him use the restroom that he was going to pee on the trash can. Trying to call his bluff she told him go for it on the trash can. Some of the students didn't think he'd do it and egged him on to do it. He got up from his desk and approached the trash can which was at the corner right next to the classroom door. He was in the corner for a minute. Then he actually peed in the trash can. The teacher just sat there as it happened nonchalant like. I can't remember if he left the class after he pulled it off since it was years ago. But yeah it cracks me up thinking about that moment. A bonus I should add about the guy. My best friend knew him as well and were even good friends. He once told me that during our sophomore year the guy got expelled for breaking the door window of the security office. They chased him and caught up to him at a nearby mall. So, in primary school, I was around 11, and we had the system of classes visiting the school's library for about an hour to stimulate you to read books. It worked really well. Once a class is finished, a member of that class could go warn the next class, appointed by the teacher, to go to the library. I was appointed to go do that, and pretty proud of it. I knocked the door, opened it and wanted to say hey it's your turn to go to the library but suddenly I was distracted by what was on the blackboard. The word Mediterranean Sea in huge letters. This class was being taught about it. So yeah, hey it's your turn to go to the Mediterranean Sea is what actually came out of my mouth. Bonus. No one of my own class found out. Extra bonus. The word in our language for library is bibliotheque but in dialect in those times another word was bokerage which translates to bookery. And I think bookery would be a nice word for library. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.